Alright, <laughs> ready. Alright, so down ref R2. Pretty much all you're going to be doing most of the time is mirroring whatever the up ref is doing. So if she, you're not really going to be on your whistle that much. If she, you know, says like ball in and gives the point, you're literally doing exactly what she's doing. Except for the service, you're not going to be doing that. So let's say that this team is serving, you're going to be standing on this side for the entirety of the rally. I don't know if you guys have refed at all, but like normally, you know, if the ball's over here, you switch, and then you switch back over here. We're not going to do that. Um, if they're serving this side, you're going to be standing on this side for the entirety of the rally. Um, what you're responsible for is this line right in front of you. And most of the time, while she is watching, or he is watching what's going on on the side, like if they're playing out the ball over here, you're going to be just like staring at this line and the net because you're watching for uh, hits on the net and if someone goes entirely over the center line. So if someone is on this side and they go like this, totally fine, it's all right. If they're like this, bad. They have to be completely over the line for it to call or if they're impeding on someone else's play, like stepping on someone's ankle, obviously that's a safety thing. Um, you are going to be like off the court stuff, you're going to be doing subs, so someone's going to like probably bang on the door or something, tell you that they want to do a sub, you're going to go like this, and then you're going to say, okay, you can go ahead. It's not like super official like it would be normally. Um, and then uh, the antenna nearest to you is your responsibility. So you're not calling anything over there because you can't really see it. And like she said on foot faults, you can't really see that either. Unless you blatantly do see something that she doesn't call, you do have the ability to blow your whistle and call it. So you have everything on this side um, on net calls and stuff like that that she isn't looking for because she's worried about where the ball's at. You will be blowing your whistle on everything else. You're just going to be mirroring and watching. Um, so what's new this year is that you are also going to be keeping score. You're going to have like a little scorecard and you have a pocket. Is that right? You're going to have a little pocket and you're just going to be tallying off the score. Um, I think, oh, and you're responsible for timeouts as well. Um, so when a team wants timeout, you're just going to blow the whistle, timeout, signal what team, and move on. Pretty much, like I said, you're just going to be mirroring her. It's not that difficult, so, yeah. I think that's it. Did I miss anything? Announcing the score, remember, uh, we don't know if it's going to be a clipboard or a scorecard yet, we haven't decided, um, but whenever you announce the score, you announce whatever the score is, serving whoever. So if it's 8 serving 10, 5 serving 2, you have to announce that so they know this team has this much and this team has this much. Every time. Because we're, we used to have somebody in here keeping the scoreboard. Since we're doing out or we're doing uh, sand volleyball, we're not going to be doing that anymore. So you'll be either keeping a clipboard or you'll keep a scorecard. And then we haven't decided what exactly we're going to do yet. So we'll have that ready to go Wednesday and Thursday. Um, another thing on the serve is that while she's watching the serve and like beckoning, what would she say? Yeah, um, you're going to be watching for rotation. So like you asked about stacking and stuff. If you know what that looks like and you're comfortable with that, it's your job as an R2 to be like, that was wrong, this rotation was weird, because they're serving from this side, so you're watching this side. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it.